next up we're going to be taking a look at triggers. Uh, triggers are, are really useful especially when you um, need to fire an event um, after a record has been inserted or updated and uh, and in our case what we're going to do is uh, we want to record the last updated date and timestamp um, um, for a particular customer so the very first thing we're going to do is add a new column to customer and we're going to call it last updated and we're going to make this a data type of date time um, pre for the date of birth you'll see we use dates because um, we don't we weren't concerned with uh, the time part of the timestamp the date so um, this way we will capture the date and the time that the record was last updated and uh, by so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and you'll see if we query the customers um, this last updated column is currently null it has no value in it so now we're gonna go create our trigger so you'll notice if we open up customers and there's a little triggers folder we can right click and go new trigger um, now there's there's no GUI screen per se for this you you have to use uh, transactional SQL statements to to create this and uh, so luckily it, it, it'll generate this template for you so I, I just go ahead and delete all these comments to clean it up a bit to make it a bit more readable and before I start working with it okay so the very first thing is this uh, create trigger statement and the very first thing it wants is it wants a name so you can follow whatever convention you want you can google up and figure out what um, works for you or if your company has some um, prefix guidelines that they use in my case I'm gonna prefix it with TR and then say last updated date timestamp and the very next thing it wants is it wants to know which table it's on so on and we'll replace this text with the table name and in our case it's customers table and then it wants to know after what event. So we want to capture we wanted to update this field after an insert and an update. And you just separate the insert and update with a comma, and you'll notice that it's happy. So now um, essentially what we have to do is after a record is either inserted or updated on the customers table we have to capture which customer this um, occurred to and then run an update statement against the customers table to update that particular record so um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a customer ID variable integer and then we're going to set the customer ID integer value and what you have to do is you have to query um, from the insert because and this will all make sense shortly and oh, God, done. there we go and uh, this inserted object contains uh, all the information about the record that was just inserted so we can pull the customer ID from the, that inserted and uh, and the inserted will work for the update as well updated or inserted it contains the information we need and then we can run write our update statement so we want to update customers set last updated and let me make sure I spell this correctly let me go ahead and refresh our customers table last updated and we're going to set last updated equal and we're going to call the function get date and what get date does is it pulls the time from the server where customer ID equals and we're going to set this equal to our customer ID variable There we go. And um, the IDE is just whining a little bit because it hasn't recognized this new column yet. Um, often I find when you add a new column to a table, you have to close, disconnect, and reconnect to the server to um, make it realize this uh, column now exists. So now I'm going to go ahead and execute. 
and you'll notice that if we go over to our triggers table um, our triggers folder and refresh it we should see our new trigger so now I'm gonna right click on customers and go edit the top 200 rows and we're going to update a customer go ahead and update and uh, we're gonna say this very first record John Doe no longer lives at 500 yard road he lives at one two three uh, Aspen Court and uh, it can be sweet three or five and you'll notice this last updated is right there and we'll go ahead and press enter and you'll see voila we now have our last the last updated date going and if we go and make a, another change suite three you'll notice it'll update again and we have a new timestamp and that is how you add triggers and this will work for um, inserts as well if we add a new record to the database.